it's almost where do you want to start? We could talk about the supplements and the, the freedom issues there. Is that is that where you want to begin? Well, let's go through whatever item? you think is most important. I was just throwing right. out a few of the items. We've, we've got about 20 or 30 here. Okay. All right. On the GMO front, let me just start there because it's a quick item. The USDA recently said when Scott's miracle Grow attempted to get approval for a genetically modified grass seed that any, anybody could buy. You could buy it at Home Depot and Lowe's once it comes out and you could put it on your lawn, or you could put it on a schoolyard, or you could put it, you know, on a playground. And then you could spray all of those plots with Roundup, which is an, a selective herbicide, and the grass would resist the Roundup. So this is, this is like what they're doing with agriculture. Now they want to do it with your front lawn. The USDA, in response to this petition by Scott's miracle Grow, said, we cannot regulate it. We're hands off now. In fact, you go ahead, you, you basically have full approval, but not really approval. It's just, you can do whatever you want with this grass. Go ahead and make it and sell it and spread it all across the it's country. It's a free for all. It's a free for all. The USDA said because of a, of a certain language element in the way they regulate GMOs today, which requires a quote, plant pathogen in order to, for it to be regulated. But since this GMO didn't contain a plant pathogen, then it's considered off hands by the USDA. And by pathogen, the, the, the corn and things they've engineered pharmacological pesticides yes. into where the plant grows its own pesticide and the bugs won't eat it, but humans do. And a lot of people, a lot of farmers notice now their, their pigs won't eat GMO. Right. Insects won't come on your table and eat it. And they, we wonder why we're getting so sick. Yeah. Well, this plant pathogen is a hook, a regulatory hook. This is what allowed the, the USDA to regulate GMO corn and to regulate alfalfa, which they approved anyway. They, never, they were never really going to control it. They were just acting like they were regulating That's it. That's because Monsanto and others have literally stacked all the regulatory commissions with their alumni. Exactly, exactly. But now because of this situation, Scott's miracle Grow could put out a GMO grass as early as early 2012. We could have neighborhoods across the country now putting GMO grass on their front lawns and spraying those lawns with this Roundup herbicide all across the country. And it could, it could be perfectly legal. It could be done on playgrounds, schoolyards, around government offices, buildings, parks, you name it, everywhere. And, and, and from your research and the um, different uh, patent filings I've seen, basically we've had, what, eight to nine of the major food crops being genetically engineered in the last few decades and the untold horrors and all the studies where in three generations with most of these crops, it makes the guinea pigs totally sterile and have uh, tiny genitals and in their, in their, in their hair growing in their mouths. Now they're assaulting everything, the, the herb plants, the grasses, the trees, everything. It's a total global assault on every front with the trade winds already carrying this everywhere. Uh, all sorts of uh, mutagenic uh, plants now. That's uh, the issue, is genetic contamination. W now with the crops, the genetic contamination was already quite bad. And farmers were having their crops contaminated, their, their organic crops contaminated, and they, w they were not able to sell them into the organic marketplace because of that contamination. And then Monsanto sued the farmer and said, you're growing our patented seeds without permission. We're going to sue you. That'd be like if I dumped motor oil in your backyard publicly and then called the cops and said, I dump motor oil in my cabin's backyard. Exactly. Arrest him for stealing my motor oil. That's just what it's like. But we wish but it was motor oil. This is a it's even worse. Yeah, because motor oil, you could clean that up. There is a remediation strategy for motor oil. There is no remediation for genetic contamination. We are talking an out of control genetic invasion of Pandora's box across the entire planet now being accelerated by the USDA's refusal to regulate these untested, complete quack science, genetically modified organisms. That's what we're dealing with here is quack science. The crazy part, correct me if I'm wrong, there's a million points on this to cover, Mike, but I see articles all the time where these big agri companies go illegally into countries and have research labs and plant their crops right next to uh, the, uh, the original, uh, you know, true non-GMO crops and then infect them as well. And I remember seeing an National Geographic a decade ago, where, Mon where a Monsanto executive bragged, yes, we're going to infect everything, and you're not going to have a choice. I mean, yeah, that's right. They, they, they know. They know that if they give you a choice, people will choose non-GMOs. This is what they said about the labeling. 
why don't they want to allow the labeling of GMOs in grocery stores so a consumer could have a box of product and they can read on the back label, oh, this contains GMOs. Why don't they want that? Well, a, a top GMO executive said, you might as well put a skull and crossbones on the box because if people know there are GMOs in it, they won't buy it. I mean, it's, there is some common sense still left out there. You know, uh, even though there's the fluoride and even though there's the vaccines and the pharmace pharmaceuticals, at some level, People understand that playing God with our seeds and with our food and with our genes is inherently wrong, if not downright evil. Well, let's just sit back for a moment because 10, 15 years ago, you couldn't find organic food in most grocery stores. Now, in the last few years, it's been displacing uh, the GMO garbage. And so they've basically changed the regulations in the last few years to where you aren't even told and the companies don't have to tell you and then when uh, organic milk companies come out and want to tell people we're GMO and hormone free, they get sued. Yes. So, I mean, this is so diabolical for anybody that's questioning, you know, I want to continue down this line and look at how they're trying to totally legalize a free for all. Yeah. And, while at the same time going after mainline vitamins and minerals. And for folks that are in doubt about this, it's already happening uh, in Europe. I mean, I want you as the expert to really break that down for people. but. Uh, getting into cloning, and we'll cover this more later, but here's the Daily Mail. 150 animal hybrids grown in UK labs. Embryos have been produced secretly. Well, uh, it's not really secret. We've now discovered this has been going on since at least 1965. Yeah. And uh, all the genetic engineers I've talked to, including people that have worked at these companies, say this is already giving rise to super viruses. This is the reason you're having so many weird illnesses and cancer and diabetes. We are being poisoned. And then I read the Rockefeller Foundation documents, and I've got some articles here where the Bill and Melinda Gates um, Foundation have basically uh, teamed up with them. And uh, they're going into Africa saying, if you want your IMF and World Bank money, you've got to accept vaccines, you've got to accept GMOs. And then you read the public documents, the Rockefeller Foundation, they admit, hey, here's our patent for a vaccine that really sterilizes you. Here's our patent for this rice that really sterilizes you. And then it's the very rice they're pushing on them. So, so of course they're not letting us label it and know. This is about, in every mammal species, being completely barren within three generations. Now that that's yeah. less than a year with guinea pigs, but with humans, we're talking 60 years, but exactly. we're already yeah. a generation into it, and we see fertility plummeting. I mean, this is so diabolical. You're, you're right, and the reaction to this won't be evident in the human species until perhaps another generation or two down the road when I expect to see mass infertility. They are already killing the future of the human race right now. It's just that people don't know it yet because the infertility hasn't exactly kicked in. Now, keep in mind that a, a, a female baby inside her mother's womb, all right, she is born with all the eggs that she's going to have in her entire lifetime. So there is a two generation effect. So the, the, the women today in their 20s, let's say, who are having babies, their eggs were formed when they were in their mother's womb when the mother was growing up back before a lot of this GMOs and poison was out there. So they, they, that's, you, you, what we're seeing today is basically eggs that were created before the mass poisoning of the planet. But that, this is the last generation of that. Now the GMOs have kicked in, the mass pharmaceutical poisoning of pregnant women has kicked in, the vaccines have been, have been spreading like crazy and they're pushing more and more. Today the women who are getting pregnant, when they form a little girl inside their, their bodies, and the eggs that are in that, that, that baby girl, those eggs are largely infertile. It's just not evident yet. That, by the way, for viewers out there, Mike, I lose sleep over this. I can be exhausted at 1 a.m. and I'll go shoot YouTube videos talking about this because Aaron Dykes and the rest of my crew, all we do is read their own publications. Yeah. And they sit back, admit they're doing this. Uh, Bill Gates even goes on TED TV and says, hey, we've got to do this to reduce per, you know, world population. Yeah. They don't even it's veil sick. it. Yeah. You, you see the headline, uh, Bill Gates, Ted Turner, uh, British royalty, Oprah Winfrey, meet in secret at Rockefeller University to discuss world government and population reduction. And you just said it, with the old vaccines and the pesticides and the toxins, we've seen a massive 
uh, increase in infertility in women 20, 30, 40 years old. Uh, we've seen an 87% sperm count drop in Western Europe and the United States. Right. Uh, we see in all the countries where uh, the BT corn is grown, on average about half the honeybees dead, in yep. some areas even more. We are seeing literal mass murder against the biosphere run by the very fake environmentalists that preach at us as a joke about carbon dioxide that plants live off of part of the life cycle. I, and I get chills talking about this because yeah. I have to look at these literal control freaks carrying out a slickly packaged uh, proto-Nazi, because th the, uh, th this system in England and the U.S. W w created the Nazis. They were just a spinoff that moved too quickly in their words and only targeted certain groups. Uh, and they've gone out and gotten the intelligentsia and sold this idea. And so they're putting these Trojan horses, just like they admit they now put Trojan horses and all the iPhones and all the computers to track us. They've put the Trojan horse, these traits, and this is the end of humankind. This yeah, is the, and, and of course, the, you know, the, the, the controllers, they all have the reversal systems. They've all got the technologies uh, to reverse it for themselves. And they avoid all this stuff like the plague. And then they force it on us and don't let us label it. This is genocide against humanity. This is and, a soft kill. And yes. these, these people are murderers. The timeline, we are already too late on many of these issues, Alex. We're already too late. You're raising the alarm, I'm raising the alarm, some people are paying attention, but this issue is new to many people, and yet it's already too late because there are, there are little girls walking around today, eight, nine, 10 years old, who are going to try to have children in another decade or two. They won't be able to because it's already too late for them. There is genetic contamination now due to the GMOs that's spreading across the planet. It's already too late, you can't put that back in the box. Wait a minute. Hold on. Studying uh, uh, genetics, it's well known that when you mate a horse and a zebra or a horse and a donkey and you get a mule, the, the chimera, and, and those are natural chimeras, yeah. are sterile. And I was just reading studies this morning. That's why the GMO makes all the creatures it comes in contact with go sterile is because it is, muted, it is causing a mutation within your body. I mean, yeah, these people... That's right. You got to admit this was cold blooded and calculated. And listen, people are going to be to that's been, why yeah. they got to have a police state in place right now of course. because because folks are going to get so mad about this. People are going to be watching this underground in 10 years. We'll probably be locked up in prison. <laughs> yeah, probably. If we, and I'm serious. We're facing the same firing squad. If we don't know? turn this around, but yeah. I but I think folks as a message of the future, they won't listen now. But right. 10 years from now, they're going to know why it's almost complete sterility and, and why we're all eating soylent green. At that time. And Please it's continue, be though, because engineered. what you're breaking down is the heart of everything. Keep in mind, let's get back to the patent that you mentioned earlier, patents. You see, these companies, whether they're drug companies or uh, labs playing God with human chimpanzee hybrid fetuses, or whether they're agriculture companies, they don't care what they sell, Alex, if they can grow it and own it and enforce the patent and have a monopoly and sell it, they don't care what it is. Right now, they've found out a way to monopolize and grow GMO corn. If they could grow GMO human body parts, they will, and well, they are. They, the, no, I mean, they admit they've been doing it yeah. for decades now, quietly. Now they're unveiling it because now it's ready for marketability, but that's the issue. They also, and they admit this, they sterilize most of the public, but then they've got the genetic treatments to turn it back on. They say, oh, we can take your husband and your wife's cells, we'll splice it for you and make you a baby, but now, if you're going to get this under the global insurance, we've got to make sure that this person has the traits we say, not just cutting out, quote, cancer, but also oh. aggressive behavior. Well, remember, as of right now, at least 20% of the human genome is patented and owned by corporations and universities and scientists. So they're not just taking over it's, the, the crops uh, no. genetics, they're taking over a, a corporate takeover of humans. Right, and th they own the patents right now. You can check the U.S. Patent Office. You know, we're not making this up. It's going to get to a point where if you want to reproduce and have a non-mutant child, you're going to have to pay a royalty. Just like the farmers do to Monsanto and DuPont for the seeds year after year because the seeds have a Terminator gene in them. The mass population is being contaminated with Terminator genes through all the genetic mutation in the food and supply this is on record. and the drugs. And then they will create the institutions that represent the mutants and, and the groups that represent the people who have the right to bioengineer and transhuman. That's right. And then they will manage all of that and play people 
uh, off against each other. We're going to have genetic class warfare system, you know, genetic classes. So they're actually invoking eugenics. They're, yes. they're building the world they want, and then they're going to blame carbon dioxide that's part of the life cycle and, and other things. That's why this is happening. Then they'll take more rights in the name of stopping the very scourge they created. You go back to the 20s, the Rockefellers figured out that most cancer was viral. Yeah, yeah. Then by the 30s, they roll out the vaccines, but that's being and, then 40. The, and, and then the 40s and 50s, which the government admits over 100 million people total died from cancers contracted by SV40, and it's only beginning. Their mass murder is only beginning. That's right. And then you've got a mesmerized drug. People ask, why don't Americans get mad? We are the test bed for the rest of the world. I mean, I saw the article in Natural News. We're in Hungary. Tell folks what they're doing in Hungary. Uh, which, which article was that? The, the story where they're destroying all the GMO secret oh, fields. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hungary outlawed GMOs. And uh, some farmer was caught growing GMO corn in, in Hungary. And the government actually came in and brought in a crew and destroyed the crops. And they said, we're going to have, we're going to protect genetic integrity in our country and not allow this contamination. You know, good for Hungary. Because, you know, Hungary wants to have a food supply, wants to have agricultural integrity in another generation where the U.S., which has just basically given in to the GMO industry, the U.S. is going to be dealing with mass starvation, mass mutant crops, crop failures. We have UG All the bees dying. dying. The bees dying thir about a third a year. 33% of the bee population is dying every year, year after year after year. I mean, it doesn't take too many years before you're down to 2 or 3% of and what the it And the Germans looked in their guts and, and found a it, 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 uh, major link to the BP toxin because bees are like humans. Other plants and animals won't eat this stuff, but yeah. bees will still go ahead and get the pollen. Yeah, that, that's right. There, there, there are multiple factors, I believe, involved in the bee, the honeybee collapse. Yeah, we've got cell phone towers, we've got genetically modified crops, we've got chemical pesticides, and a possible chemtrail link as well with the Oh, with we the know the bees. aluminum levels going off the chart, and the old timers 15 years ago, now 16, went up and did tests and said they're spraying barium salts, aluminum dioxide, and we don't know why. Right. And then, two years ago, first speech the science czar gives Holdren, he says, yes, there's been a 15-year uh, secret program, the Nobel Prize winner developed it, a plan to save you from global warming, but the studies actually show it makes it heat up. We're, we are spraying aluminum dioxide. This is exactly yeah. what the conspiracy theorists said. But here's, here's a pop culture example. In the movie The Thing, not just the original 50s, but the remake with Kurt Russell, great, yeah. great, great horror film. They dig up this creature. It's, it's a shapeshifter. It's a genetic creature that can copy anything at once. And it basically comes to planets to absorb and copy and replicate. And then the entire biosphere is basically replicas of itself, and they estimate with their computer that if it gets out of Antarctica, um, that within you know just a couple hundred days, the entire world will be infected. So basically, the science officer decides he's got to kill everybody. Right. Uh, and and that's what the elite did. If you and you got to admit they're smart. You go back to the British royalty 150 years ago. This is on record. They said to Galton and others, the eugenicist. They said we've got to figure out, find out what makes life tick. We've got to patent it, and we've got to take over. And then a hundred years ago, they were talking about genetic engineering and all this in, in the island of Dr. Maru. Yeah. And then about 65 years ago, uh, well, even decades before they discovered it, they guessed it would be DNA. They figured, like, they figured it out. The Cold Springs Harbor Eugenics Laboratory developed it, which is eugenics. And now they've paid for it with tax money. And now they're not using it to empower humanity they're using it to take everything over. Please continue. I mean, the problem is, well, Mike, you bring this up and it's just you want to pull your hair out. Yeah, well, it's almost like this interview, you should put it on a DVD and lock it in a vault somewhere or bury it underground because it's possible, Alex, here's a scenario, that 50 years from now, as the human race collapses, people won't even know why. All they will know is that they can't have babies, the food is gone, the honey, the pollinators are gone, and people won't know why because they were never told the truth. It's Children of Men. Did you see that movie? Children of Men. They're exactly. throwing it Just in like our that. face yeah. in movies like that. Of course they are. There was another movie, The Island. Remember The Island where they grew clone bodies uh, in, a, in a separate containment living and space? And it turns out they're doing exactly that, but they, they grow it in utero in a cow and then reportedly, won't tell you what else they do, but the report is they actually are keeping these clones alive. Uh, yeah, absolutely they are. Yeah. I, but it's, it's gotten to the point, Alex, where I, I mean, I, sometimes I wake up and I think, 
I need a, These are humans, well, though. Well, what about their rights? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, once they're not humans, right? Once they mix in other animal genes, they that's, have no rights. That's what they're saying. That's that's how they get around the human rights. They can make a 99.5% human. Remember, remember, there's only about a 1% or 2% difference between a human and a chimpanzee. So they can make a 99.5% human and 0.5% jellyfish. And they can say, that's not human. So therefore, it has no rights, and we can grow them, and we can harvest their organs for transplant surgeries to, into other humans. And then they sell it to the public, and Ray Kurzweil does. It's inevitable. Give in to it. Don't have a debate about the future of this. And literally, you'll have to go to them to reproduce, and that's their plan. And then yeah. that's where the licensing comes in. And they say, it's your guilt for the toxic waste that did this. You go back to the Industrial <laughs> Revolution. Oh, yeah. That didn't affect... Uh, 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 fertility, and there were real toxins and problems. This is something beyond that. Now, now, might continue. At the same time, there are a lot of vitamins, nutrients, minerals that have been proven to not 100% protect you, but but shield you from a lot of this. Right. This is the real link. Okay, we haven't even talked about this, even on your show or even on National News yet. The real key here is that nutritional supplements, the good ones, the really high-end superfoods, they prevent DNA mutations. They actually, they create and activate chromosome repair. All right, the right nutrients can help you repair your DNA. So they now, the FDA, through its new NDI regulations that it's proposing, the new dietary ingre ingredient regulations, it wants to take all of these away. So at the same time that all these DNA mutations are coming in from Fukushima radi radiation fallout, from the vaccines, from the pharmaceuticals, from the G GMO contamination, they're taking away all the supplements that can repair DNA. By the way, they you did that in Europe, and in last year's Food Safety Act that Big Pharma and Big Agra pushed, it said we, this law implements Codex Alimentarius. Yes, yeah, that's a law. That's, that's done and over with. You know, we, we, it's after the fact. We, Alex, we are so far after the fact. People watching or listening won't, won't even believe it. They think this is, hasn't happened yet. Jack McClam's it's, coming up. Not Jack McClam, another great patriot. Uh, Sheriff Richard Max coming up later. Yeah. And I actually have the new executive order in place that talks about Los Zetas and Al-Qaeda. Then later it says, any American for any reason, anytime we want, we can lock you up, take your bank account, executive order. And he, he declares a civil emergency. We're under martial law. Of course. P please continue. Well, uh, the, the supplements could be taken away from us by the end of this year, all right? The FDA regulations are now in a 90-day in a comment period that began July 1st. They started it right before the July 4th weekend in order to, you know, get some time under the rug. If we don't beat this deal, if we don't beat this, and if we don't, if we don't get the rights back for our nutritional supplements, then literally those health food stores could be wiped out all of these products could be off the shelves by the end of this year. Say that I mean, again. I mean, okay. And, and by the way, food stores, all over the country, they're saying the country. you can't have your own garden. You got to have a license because you might be growing marijuana. Uh, all over the country, they're rating people selling peaches on the side of the road. Amish selling milk to yeah. their neighbors. So don't say it. we have government health care now. Don't say... Oh, Obama can't launch a war without congressional approval. Don't say the foreign banks won't rob us. Don't say the, you know, that the dollar won't go down. It's all happening. It's all planned. So don't live in denial. This is happening now. Please continue. It's, they have synchronized the assault on our foods and our freedoms. It's a program. It's, it's absolutely a planned strategy. Why do they go after Julie Bass? Why are they going after the, the Amish? Why do they go after the food supply with the food safety bill at the same time that now they want to take away the nutritional supplements at the same time that they're about to launch another new vaccine scare campaign with Hollywood movie coming out uh, in another month, the big fall vaccine time period, at the same time that the USDA says we're not going to regulate GMOs? It's all happening at once. This is modern 21st century warfare. It's corporate. Yeah. It's scientific. It's packaged slickly. It's creeping death. It's in the plastic bottles, the bisphenol A. It's in the air. It's in the vaccines. It's invisible. It's hidden. This is the total full spectrum eugenics global extermination program. We are in the deep throes of it. And now it with is. the carbon tax, they've attempted to shut off more than half the energy of the third world. They told the third world, hey, we're going to tax America and Europe and give you tax money for development. They get the treaty and it's right at double the taxes on them there'd be on us. I mean, and they, they figured out in 10 years, it would have killed more than a billion people who are living on less than $2 a day. And I've got reports today in the Boston Herald that they're seeing malnutrition now all over the United States. 
because the, the poor children... Starvation yeah. in the emergency rooms. Yeah, doctors are seeing that now more than ever before. There are African-American babies being born in Boston hospitals now who are born with rickets, all right, which is a chronic vitamin D deficiency of the mother. There are mothers being given chemotherapy so that their babies are born with genetic mutations and, and long-term infertility. This is happening right now. It is a crime against humanity. It, it's, it's a multitude of crimes. And it's a battle plan. Against, it's, it's a war against the human genetic integrity. It's the eugenics wars. It's, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing it now. It's, it's not a theory. It's not a conspiracy. It's not even something that we're warning people down about 10, year, 10 years down the road. This is happening right now, today. But, Alex, there will be survivors of this. There, there are ways to and protect And that's why yourself. the GMO companies, that's why they're passing laws to be able to have private mercenaries. They're building armored keeps. They understand that, that people are going to be angry at them. And people yeah. that are angry for their mother, their daughter, their father being made barren, being killed, they're going to be called terrorists. But isn't it interesting that even all the mercs and all the enforcers, they're going to be infertile too. It's just like you say on your show a lot. All the people in enforcing the global elite uh, agenda, they're next in line to be cold. They're not immune from the agenda. Well, that's they're why people ask two. me, they say, because, you know, I've been attacked and a lot of things have happened. I don't get into it over the years. People say, aren't you scared of being killed? Or are you even afraid of them coming after your family? And, and I love life. I love my children more than anything. But at the end of the day, they have no future if we don't beat them. Folks yeah. don't get it. This is... This isn't something you just, you know, decide, am I going to face this down? Am I going to fight this? This right. is, we are living in a science fiction nightmare, and only fully awakening to this assault is going to give us any chance of, of, of resisting. I mean, this is like Hitler going into Russia in Barbarossa. He's not going to stop. You're going to have to face it. That's right. We're I mean, fighting for the future of the human race. That's literally what we are fighting for. We and that's when into... humanity wins, is when you realize yes. there is no cowering down to this. You're fight or you die. That's it. We've got to get into more guerrilla gardening, Alex. I, I mean, the, the, the terminology sounds almost funny, but it's serious. We need guerrilla gardening. We need people growing their own food that's not GMO. Saving the heirlooms. Saving the seeds. Hiding them because they're, Absolutely. they're also getting into moves worldwide to start confiscating them. They could start confiscating seeds. Oh, no, they're already buying up I mean, the, the, the heirlooms. Monsanto and others, and then now coming out and saying, you can't replant those either. Uh, we've now uh, uh, put a patent on our brand right. name. That's right. That's right. Yeah, this is, this is going on. We, What's a total takeover? DuPont and Monsanto are buying up all the seed companies, not just in North America, but globally. Over 100 acquisitions between those two companies in the last And building armored decades. seed vaults. Yes, yes. Yeah, because they know what's valuable. It's the seeds. It's not, this all comes down to the seeds, Alex. The seeds in humans which are our genetic code, our sperm and our ovaries. All right, these are the seeds of the future of the human race. And this is our ancestors going back millions of years. I mean, this is the yes. total code of people that struggled and fought and died to be here. If you cannot protect the integrity of your DNA as a species, then you are extinct, period. And that is what we are facing right now. So they want to control the seeds of plants and the seeds of humans. And they want to patent plants and patent humans or variations of humans. They've already tried to patent, well, successfully patented animals. Some of that was struck down by the U.S. Supreme Court, but not all of it, and certainly not globally. And then there, there are other tactics that they use to try to patent uh, various processing You know what's shameful? Plants. America, the United States, is the main driver of this. And it's because <laughs> we've been seized by the technocrats. And uh, a lot of the world, you know, farmers in France, if GMO gets planted, they just go burn it. And the police go, yeah, absolutely, good do, job. It. And, and, you know, we, all I'm saying is people need to start getting really focused on this. If they don't, they're, they're going to lose their future. I mean, I'm talking about complete extinction of many lines of, of, of genetics throughout the human race. That's what's happening. I mean, I, I, again, I've said this before. It's the genopocalypse. It is the, the, apocalypse of, uh, the apocalypse of the human genome. It, it's upon us, Alex. Uh, in another generation, it will be obvious to everyone. Right now, it's not, which is why what we are saying right here, a lot of people say, no, it couldn't be true. It's, it's all possible. admitted. I mean, they really have written hundreds of books admitting they did it. And, and, and here's the issue. Just like they started militarizing police and setting up threat fusion centers, 
when they got rid of Glass-Steagall, knowing it was designed to implode the country, and were ready to have Northcom on the streets by this year, years before, this is all strategic mapped up in long-term plans. Yeah. They keep us on like a quarterly system while they're on 10, 20, 30, 40-year plans right. that, that Zbigniew Brzezinski talks about. And now, Mike, uh, they have to have their police state grid in place when folks find out about this. Right, because awareness will lead to instant riots, instant revolts. If people knew what was going on with the Federal Reserve right now, there'd be riots in the streets. They know that. It's only the ignorance that keeps many mainstreamers in their seats. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be joining the riot. I'm, we're already past that stage. We're, we're at home safe, you know, hunkered down, surviving and planting seeds and, and trying to create peace and freedom and liberty and, and, and free commerce and safe transportation in our local communities. That's the kind of thing that I think you and I would both be doing. Not, you know, not out just going crazy, shooting people. That, that's what the masses will do because they freak out because they're uninformed. They did not get informed, and so they're afraid. You know, that... I'll tell you, and we've only got about 15 minutes left, and we've got to have you back in here for the new show that starts September uh, 1st, and, and also for more of these special reports. If you're watching, this is a special report, uh, part one of it, uh, here with Mike Adams, and, and, and time has just flown by so fast, but I was invited to a birthday party, I don't know, almost a year ago now, uh, to a small town outside Austin, and everyone I ran into there in the town was a listener. But then at the house I was at, uh, some of the folks were listeners, but some of the doctors and um, people that were there um, didn't even know who I was. Mm -hmm. But they said, oh, you don't know. People have all moved to this town uh, because we know about the population reduction plan. We, mm -hmm. we know about the GMO Armageddon. We, you know, smart people could see it, and they've all moved out there to their, quote, doomsteads with their wives and children, right. many of them without ever hearing me. And then I was uh, on the other side of the coin with some uh, doctors and geneticists and people at a party I got invited to, and none of them knew who I was. And they said, well, how do you keep from just going dark knowing this info? They started bringing it up to me, didn't know who I was, really? <laughs> and were kind of very sad about the fact that this was being done. So the good news is, Mike, People are finally starting to get this in the intelligentsia. A lot of them got it a long time ago. Yeah. The problem is they are at their emergency doomsteads instead of having your, your redoubt, but also going out and warning people. Sure. Yeah, I believe in that, obviously. That's, that's why I'm, I'm here. You and I uh, are all about spreading the information so that people are informed because we believe that information prevents the fear. If people have knowledge, then they don't panic. We are about helping people be prepared. And we can so start they, reversing this. Yes. Telling yes. somebody don't walk off into that you know, cliff, you're going to fall a thousand feet and die. That's right. not fear. It's, hey, there's a cliff right there. No, it's Washington, like in a subway. Mind the gap. Exactly. Exactly. No, you know, the, these people in Washington, they want, they want the public to drive with their headlights off so they don't see something in the road. You know, you and I would be, no, put your headlights on. Maybe even wear a seatbelt. It's just common sense in case something happens. It's preparedness. I mean, do these people who attack us, do they go out there and drive their cars down the highway at 70 miles an hour and not wear their seatbelts? Do they disable their airbags because they don't want to be negative about things? I mean, is that their mindset? It's, it's insane. By the way, I just want to point out, with what we've talked about so far, you notice we haven't even turned a page over. We're still on page one. Yeah, no, look at this. We have a whole stack of stuff to get into. Well, this well, is just well, scratching the surface. So, so tell us the time frame. They're coming out and saying, you know what? GMO whatever you want now. It's, it's a brave new world. But by the way, you're not going to have Malaluga plants. You're not going to have aloe vera plants. Walnuts. And, and, and when I saw this in this uh, article, Life Extension Magazine today, I, I believed it, but I went and looked it up. Yeah. And sure enough, the FDA, well, I mean, I know you know about it, is saying that they are not generally recognized as safe and effective and so there's a move to start not letting people uh, have walnuts. Uh, that article, I believe, is from a, quite a few months back, actually. And it's no. about Blue Diamond. Yeah. And uh, Blue Diamond made some uh, health claims about their walnuts that were fully supported by government-funded scientific studies published in peer-reviewed medical journals. And it just said things like, if you eat walnuts, it reduces the risk of heart disease, which is absolutely true. The FDA, like they always do, they said, by making that statement, you magically transform walnuts into unapproved drugs. 
Now you're selling unapproved drugs. But everybody knows get folic acid for a woman who's pregnant. Eat spinach. I mean, we're supposed to eat food. It's like a baby gets milk and they say, no, 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 no. You want corn syrup formula. No, Alex, the FDA says that there is no such thing as a food that has any health benefit whatsoever in the human body. Foods are nothing but dead calories to the FDA. If you, if you even say that vitamin C from an orange, that eating an orange can prevent scurvy or Lyme, as the sailors found out hundreds of years ago, then in the FDA's eyes, you are a criminal. You can have, if you sell vitamin C and you make that claim, you can have your products confiscated. You can be prosecuted by the FDA's criminal investigation department, which is very vicious and has put people on Interpol. And as you know, the big uh, organic food alliances and the vitamin alliances, what a decade ago said, okay, the, the FDA says be friends, work with them. They want to bring us into the fold. And now they found out they're coming in and just shutting everything down. It was a total betrayal. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, this new effort by the FDA to potentially ban tens of thousands of products, health products, dietary supplements across the board, by the end of this year, it could really kick in. This effort is based on a reinterpretation of language from the 1994 law, Deche, that was all about that. Let's, let's play ball with the FDA and we'll be okay. Well, Bill Falone, right there from Life Extension, is on the record now saying, we know that we have to fight this or we are all going to be potentially put out of business. And that's when we start winning. When you realize these are enemies, these are control freaks, these are eugenicist murderers, the, the low-level minions are compartmentalized. But at the top, Aaron's done deep research. You're talking about less than 100 people on the, all these boards and these corporate boards. And then you find out they all make statements about too many people and getting rid of the population. It is a tiny eugenics cult in control of the major Fortune 100 and the central banks, yeah. and literally. And I risk my life saying this, but if we could just have these people through law investigated and arrested, we would still have problems, but many of our problems would literally reverse. I mean, right. I, mean I go back to the Hitler analogy. World War II was finally over when they, you know, you know when they overtook his bunker. You know, when they finally, Japanese, you know, uh, you know, finally when they were defeated, World War II was over. And I mean, these people are enemies. And we Absolutely. need to start recognizing they're murdering enemies. And I'm willing, you know, for them to do whatever they do to me. I'm going to call them out. They're murdering criminals who have to be dealt with. You are exactly right. And you are putting your life at risk by saying what you say and do, doing what you do every day on the radio. I'm putting my life at risk. You know, we, but there is no future. Exactly. There's well, no future if we don't beat them. What is the point of being here if we don't stand up against this? And this guy, this guy is, is a great American hero, Bill Falloon. I don't know if you can, if you can get a shot of, of Bill here. Bill Falloon from Life Extension Foundation, he's the one who stood up against the FDA in 1994 with Deshaies, and he's the one now who is also going to help with this effort to protect access to our supplements. This is a great American, liberty-loving individual right here, much like Ron Paul, much like many others throughout American history, and we all have to stand up or, or, or it's And the over. minute we decide that these people are the murdering criminals that they are, that they are the sick fascist takeover freaks, the minute we realize they want to socialize our wealth so they can control us, the minute we realize that we start winning. We've only got about 10 minutes left and then we're going to end up going two hours tonight, folks. We got Jack, uh, I'll keep calling him Jack McClams, another <laughs> great patriot, or, or I might call him Stuart Rhodes. No, no. He's the guy that beat the Supreme Court. Uh, 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 who beat the gun grabbers. Of course, uh, Sheriff Richard Mack was on the show with me for an hour and a half today, and he's going to be talking about Oath Keepers and all the other great uh, groups that are waking up the enforcers who are under attack. So Sheriff Richard Mack is coming up. We're live streaming at PrisonPlanet.tv. We're going to be doing more and more of these special reports here uh, in, the, in the future, but also a weeknight uh, produced 30-minute uh, hard-hitting show. And so, again, I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight. But But... This assault on humanity, this, these people are such control freaks, they admit, yes, we're ending humanity. We're remaking it. We're upgrading it. And resistance is futile. Uh, you don't have a choice in this. Go along with it. And then they have people like Kurzweil repeating that. And then they have their minions going, good, I want to live forever. You're not going to be given that. You're being killed. They're selling you on rewriting everything, destroying the genetic code of the planet while they play God. But let me, let me give you the positive side of this. Yes. As individuals who listen to the Alex Jones show, who pay attention to what we're talking about, individuals can choose to survive. All right? Individuals can choose 
to be part of the future of the human race by growing their own food, by avoiding the toxic chemicals. That's the revolution. The and, that's, that's exactly and, and, it. and I don't even do, because I work so much, what I say I know we should do, and people shouldn't think, oh, I'm too far gone to do this. You can change it. You can at least do it for your children. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, it's just that we, we can make a choice. If, if you love life and if you love the future of humanity on this planet, because it's a great planet, you know, I don't know of a better one out there. We can choose to be part of the future of the human race, even though others are not awakened and even though it might be too late for them. And that is a choice that we can make every day by deciding what we want to do with our lives and how we want to protect our genetic code. That's, it's key to protect our, the integrity of our own DNA. And you can do that by avoiding the vaccines and avoiding the GMOs and avoiding the synthetic chemicals that they put into every personal care product out there. You know, perfumes and colognes have an average of 20 cancer-causing chemicals in them, and they don't have to be labeled because the FDA says that we just don't require it to be labeled because it's a corporate secret. You know, the formulation of the perfume is a trade secret. Poison so is legal, food is illegal. That's exactly it. It's that insane. You know, how criminal is this to say you can't grow your food, but we're going to put can't poison in your body? And you can't find out what's in that vaccine. It's a trade secret. Right. And then you learn they're spiking it with hormones that become uh, recognized as a pathogen uh, because they're added with the pathogen. You find out they're genetically engineered cancer viruses and they found even if, the, if it's made at 50 different manufacturers in separate manufacturing processes it's come out that they're adding it it's not an accident i mean these are cold-blooded killers yes yes but let me bring it back to the superfoods even if you don't have a perfectly healthy lifestyle and i don't either it's not i don't have a perfectly healthy lifestyle either whatever you are doing out there today watching this listening to this if you take some superfoods like Enerfood, one of your sponsors if you take that every day, that will protect so much of your genetics. Even if you still eat pizza or smoke a cigarette from time to time or get some radiation from the airport scanners, if you do the superfoods, you have a much better chance of being part of the future of the human race. It's that important. And I drink three or four superfood shakes every day for that reason. Tell folks about your own journey from being super unhealthy to where you are today. Well, I was raised on a standard American diet, right? I was borderline obese, diabetic, chronic pain, high cholesterol, eating just fast food, junk food, taking pharmaceuticals. I even, I, I got vaccinated in the past. I was just regular every day. And I turned that around starting about 10 years ago and just literally transformed my health through food and through learning, education, and sharing that information with others. And just, you know, today I grow my own food. I, I, I have a John Deere tractor. Uh, I, I, I farm, I eat my own tomatoes, I raise chickens, I eat their eggs. Sounds pretty Al-Qaeda. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a guerrilla gardener, you know, and, that, and, and I hang out with organic farmers, and I, I'm into growing as much of my own food because I don't trust anything else out there. You know, I, I, I'm just, I want you to survive. You are an extremist. Uh, well, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Mike, yeah. Tell, us, tell us what's new at naturalnews.com. What's, what's the health ranger doing right now? Trying uh, to defeat, what, A, the total genetic takeover that's been announced, and uh, B, their counterattack against our ammo, the supplements? We are about to launch a Rally Point website. It's going to be called protectoursupplements.org. It's not up as of this moment, but in a couple of days it will be. It's a nonprofit, totally non-commercial, Rally Point. We will be linking to every story, every interview. We'll be linking to you when you cover this topic. We'll be linking to petitions. It will be a place for people to come and take action. And then there's going to be a massive call-in day on September 8th to call your representatives in Congress. That is, if the government isn't completely financially gone by, by September 8th. Uh, but it, there's a call-in day. We'll be helping to organize that. We're working with other leaders in the industry, including Bill Falloon. He has a new book coming out. I don't want to give the title away. But we're, we're interviewing him and publicizing that as part of this effort. We are part of an all-out rebellion against the FDA's assault on our freedoms and our health, Alex. And now, what I like about Oak Park, Michigan is suddenly all her neighbors are planting gardens in their front yard. Isn't it awesome? They crush this woman, try to put her in jail for 90-plus days, harass her, do all this to her. And now there's a rebellion all over the country. And it, it, it is beginning that garden, beginning to stop drinking the, the fluoridated tap water and all the poisons. It, it starts with becoming aware of the enemy yes. and then slowly realizing that they've built an artificial habitat 
to literally re-engineer us is what the elite call the final revolution. And the fact that you're saying every time we go jogging, every time we don't pull into McDonald's, you know, the journey with a thousand miles starts with a single step. Every time we do that, um, we defeat these people. Yes. And you don't have to be perfect about it. You don't have to be some Adonis in the gym and eating nothing but living juice every hour of the day. You don't have to do that to be healthy and to survive. You just have to eliminate most of the poisons and, and, and strengthen your system with the superfoods every day. I, I, I drink superfoods every day and I highly encourage that. And by the way, you know, I, I keep recommending Interfood because they're your sponsor, but there are also many other superfoods out there to choose from that, that are very good. Interfood's fantastic. Mention some others. Well, Boku Superfood, uh, Living Fuel is really great. Pure Synergy is really great. Uh, Health Force Nutritionals makes a product called Vitamineral Green that is one of the most potent. I drink that every day, too. There, there, uh, there's a Rejuvenate Pro product out there. I mean, I'm just mentioning some of the ones that I know of that are in my cabinet. You know, these are the things I drink. And they can protect you. No, I know. You. You've been here a lot during the day, and you don't really bring food. You bring, you know, these superfoods yeah. and some cashews. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you and your wife, certainly, certainly you can tell you're glowing. Me, I got black circles around my eyes, and I'm not running around trying to eat GMO, but it's just in everything. When you go out to eat whatever. No, if I could say, you put so many hours into what you do because you're so passionate about it. You sacrifice your time for the benefit of the viewers and the listeners out there because you, you feel so strongly about this information. Well, they could also imprison I, me or shut me down any time. And how so I've got to say as much as I can now. The stress of the work that you do and that I do, and you work harder than I do, and there's not many people who do that, by the way. The stress is, it gets to us. If, if we don't take time out, man, it adds up. And because we, we, we feel like so strongly this rebellion uh, this, this liberty march is so crucial that we tend to sacrifice our own health in order to help the other people out there. And I, I see you doing that uh, constantly, being very effective, but putting in so many hours, I can't, I can't even imagine how you get it done. Alex. Well, the, the, the dozens of countries are creating thousands of transhuman and half-animal clones. I mean, we've got, we've got to put in that effort to shake people yeah. out of the trance, the television, and the rest of it has put them into. We're going to go to a, a, a couple different little pieces of uh, my films, Police State 4, uh, Endgame, and of course the Obama deception. Uh, th these are trailers for the film that uh, folks uh, you know, really uh, uh, don't often see since the films themselves are out. But we're going to play a couple of these, come back uh, with Sheriff uh, Richard Mack uh, to get into the physical control grid uh, that they're trying to uh, put in and some huge police state developments. Mike Adams, I really want to thank you uh, for joining us. Mike Adams. My pleasure, uh, With Natural Good News. You bet. And I look forward to having you pop in uh, via Skype, but also in studio on the yeah. nightly news show. Yeah. And sometimes when I'm out of town or something, you, you, we can work <laughs> you to death and have you come in here and do the show. Because right. you, you do a great job on the radio when you fill in. And uh, my websites, of course, are infowars.com and prisonplanet.com, and I hope you'll spread the word about that. We also did a special report this week that's on the YouTube channel that really needs to go viral. It has gone viral, but super viral, and that's titled Genetic Armageddon, Humanity's Greatest Threat. Please get that special 15-minute report out on the transhuman cloning and the rest of it. And Sheriff Richard Mack, uh, who's launching a big offensive against the globalist, uh, is uh, coming up. We'll be right back in a few minutes. Stay with us. Thanks, Mike.